Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I had a terrible night's sleep, but I had a wonderful start of the day. I've been skiing uh, for like an hour and a half and then driving back uh, to Stockholm and um, everything went really well, like surprisingly well. Gemma almost slept the whole trip and uh, that is always, you know, God given for us. <laughs> I guess, you know, it was really tough for her to start skiing. Mm, I can imagine that it's scary, you know, it's something you can't, you know, control and um, and it takes time. She didn't go much. She also got a fever when we were up there. Uh, and it was so sweaty, you know, to have a child and help and, you know, carry and like, I've never done this before. It's, I did it like very, very briefly last year. Um, uh, but um, yeah, it's the first time I'm skiing with uh, with such a small kid, and um, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Uh, I remember I wanted to take her on my belly when uh, she was a baby, but then I read, and uh, apparently it was really really dangerous, so I didn't do that. Um, <clears throat> but now, um, yeah, we've been going a little bit together, and it's so much fun. And it's so lovely to see her brothers with her. They are much more patient than I am. And they're really helpful. And, and she gets so excited, you know, to be with them in that kind of setting, you know. So I feel very grateful for this ski trip. Um, I also feel very grateful for um, my mother. She's coming tonight. I'm going to pick her up at the train station. And um, yeah, uh, it's really lovely. Uh, to get some help, you know. Uh, and I know that I'm very, very fortunate because we also have no pair and everything is magical. And um, still nothing is like mom, you know. <laughs> I feel so blessed to have such an amazing mother like I do. I am more and more grateful for her every day. And um, also when having children, you know, I understand how much she's been, you know, doing for us. And um, yeah, it's a blessing to have such an amazing mother and a present mother. She's enormously present and so patient. I'm never going to be like her. <laughs> and I guess that's fine. You know, I just have to be the kind of mom I am. Uh, but I'm much more like my father than my mother. And uh, it's a pity when it comes to parenting because my mother is amazing as a parent. Uh, so is my dad, but in a totally different way. Uh, but I do think that my husband and I are, you know, he's more like my mom. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Um, I'm also very grateful for uh, our camper van, or it's actually my camper van. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. It's, uh, it's making, you know, a trip like this much more doable with all the children. Um, and um, yeah. I think we're going to have a blast with it. Let's we'll see. We didn't live in it now, which was great because I think it would have been too much for our family. I think maybe in winter it's going to be okay with, with just us and Gemma, but I think it's going to be hard with the whole family in a, such a small place for winter. I think summer is much easier then because then it can be outside. We'll see. But it's really fantastic to, to you know, sort things out and... Uh, start to get to know the car and uh, how it works and I'm excited about that. Um, let's do some yoga. Uh, get down on your sitting bones and straighten up your back. Observe your breath and where in your body that is located. Mm -hmm. 
we're gonna start taking control of our breath on the inhalation that you felt is expanding on the exhalation try to open it up and see what's the same. Beautiful. We're going to do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale to start. Very good job. We're going to do the hip press. Inhale forward. Exhale back. direction Beautiful. We're going to do shoulders roll. Inhale up and back. Exhale down and forward. Switch down.
and um, you're gonna do a favorite bend so place your right foot on your left thigh come up with both your arms and exhale bend from your hip forward on the inhalation straighten up and on the exhalation see if you can come further down We're gonna finish today's class uh, with a short meditation. So get down on your sitting bones, close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let your third eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Thank you so much for today and to God thank you. I love you guys. Thanks for tomorrow.